Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Flower, back with another On the Water with Dustin White. Dustin, how are you? Marvin, uh, I'm doing well. How are you, my friend? I'm trying to stay out of trouble, and you're trying to smooth it over. Um, you know, fo- what folks yeah. don't yeah, what folks don't know is you uh, you were out pulling for carp, and uh, you fell off the platform. And I'll let you take it from there about phone troubles, at 18 inches of water, and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, had a had a client uh, on the bow, another that was uh, under my pulling platform and the one that under the platform got really excited when I caught on a fish and uh, jumped up uh, boat to kind of shimmied and uh, yeah, took a tumble off the the platform and uh, phone was in my pocket and yeah, fell in some pretty shallow water on it. So uh, the, the iPhone, uh, the former iPhone 13 is no more. And so had to do the obligatory upgrade, uh, even though I, I wasn't expecting it, but uh, we're all good. So a little bit of a pinch back, but uh, every, everything's all all good. Yeah, I never knew that an iPhone could break your fall like that. Yeah, it really, really helps. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going with the iPhone own uh, probably what, 15 Pro or Pro Max? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I've heard they have a little more cushion for them uh, coming off that polling platform, so... Uh, decided to do the, the the upgrade. Yeah, well, they have an airbag in them now. It's kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so as we get ready to kind of cruise into the 4th of July weekend, you know, it's kind of funny. We're down here in the southeast. I was telling you it's roasting. Like we've had, we've had a cool day today, yeah. but it's going to bounce right back up to the upper 90s. And you're sitting there, highs in the upper 70s, low 80s. It's got to be pretty sweet. What are you seeing out on the water? Uh, uh, yeah, it's been perfect temps. Um, we, 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 we're just so fortunate. It's such a pleasant time of year. Um, in terms of bug life, you know, we've had, uh, our typical BMDs, caddis, uh, uh, yellow sallies, uh, kind of across the board. Um, our, our golden stones on the mile are starting to pop. So we're really, really excited about that. Um, it might even be, you know, popping by the time, uh, this, this is published, uh, and podcast is, is out there for everybody. So it's, it's a, any day now, the golden stones on the mile are, are going to be popping. So, um, probably some of the most, you know, exciting surface action that, that folks, uh, can expect to see, uh, in this region of the country. But, um, you know, other, other than that, you know, um, PMDs, like I said, caddis, uh, tends to be the more favorable takes throughout the day, uh, uh, later in the afternoon, you know, salaries are coming off and, and folks can, uh, expect to see those, uh, being taken as well. Um, but, uh, all, all in all, pretty good on all fronts. Uh, Bighorn's pretty mossy. Um, so, you know, just be aware of that you're going to be casting lanes, probably wouldn't nymph it probably would do some sort of dry dropper. Um, if, you know, first success there, um, they just dropped the flows of the reef on us. So that's going to, you know, consolidate this fish a little more central in the water column. Um, but uh, in, in the later afternoon, they're moving over into the shallow flats near the banks to, to take dries. And, and like I said, the, on, the, on the mile front, um, it's uh, any day now, as we're speaking, the, the, the golden stones are going to be popping. Yeah. And so how long does that hatch generally last? Yeah, I mean, it's about a four or five day hatch it, itself. Um, but there's a latency period of another four or five days where the fish are willing to take flies on the surface. So, you know, it's kind of like a nine to ten, ten day window, I, I, I typically tell folks. Um, and so um, literally it's it's a, any day now. We've, we've got, you know, it's big Terranarsa stone. So, we, you know, we, we've got them out. The adults are out. They're flying around. Um, just starting to. So um, probably in the next couple of days, we're going to see those fish start to key in on them. And then you've got another, you know, eight, nine, 10 days uh, after after that that first sort of emergence starts to occur uh, where those fish will, will take a golden on the surface. Uh, very, very cool. And, you know, folks, we love questions on the Articulate Fly. You can email them to us or DM us on social media. And one thing we've added recently, if you go to the podcast link on the website, 
down in the lower right-hand corner, there's a little microphone. You can actually record your question. And if we use that question, we'll actually play it on the episode. So kind of a cool thing. And, you know, if we use your question, I'll send you some articulate fly swag and then bring you a drawing for a half a day of fishing with Dustin. And, you know, Dustin, as we always do, we got to give a shout out to a local bar slash restaurant slash drinking establishment. What's, uh, what's on the list this oh, yeah. time around? Yeah, I got to go to the, the, uh, the, local haunt of the silver fox silver fox is a historical uh steakhouse and bar here in casper wyoming um it's fantastic for us because it's you know mac dab right in the middle of our, our commute out from in town casper out to uh the crazy rainbow lodge out to the gray reef uh you, you pass it on your on your trek out to the water um, and so, uh, it's, it's such a great place. Um, fantastic steaks, uh, killer bartender service. Uh, everyone there is so fantastic. And, uh, uh, the, the legendary, uh, bacon knots, uh, that, uh, still haunt my dreams, Marvin, <laughs> uh, are, are pretty fantastic. So, um, the, the silver Fox is, is such a, a cool spot. And whenever, you know, we have guests in town and they ask, hey, uh, you know, where should I go to eat tonight? Um, that's always one of the the first recommendations we give to folks. Yeah, sounds pretty neat. And so you got to tell me a little bit more about the bacon knots. What makes them so special? You know, there's probably some illicit substance uh, wrapped in them, but they they they, they literally braid uh, bacon. Um, and it's more like a, a dessert appetizer. Uh, than it would be anything else. Um, but there's kind of a sweet maple glaze on them, and uh, yeah, just pretty addicting. So you can't uh, you can't stop with one. They're 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 pretty fantastic. And you're saying the secret sauce is like ayahuasca or mescaline or something like that. Something like that. PCP. Who knows? It's <laughs> angel dust. I I. I, I I don't know, but it's, uh, whatever it is, it's fantastic. Yeah. That's pretty old school there. I haven't, uh, heard anyone talk about angel <laughs> dust in a while. You've been watching like old Hill street blues reruns or something. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, but, uh, some, something's going on with these, these bacon knots and they're, they're, they, uh, they definitely lend that way. So, um, but yeah, um, anytime anyone's here in town, uh, they're right off CY Avenue and, uh, Silver Fox, Silver Fox will take uh, real good care of you. And yeah, just a uh, great local font and uh, killer steaks, killer walleye. You know, we got a, like a little uh, crusted walleye that they serve. Um, so everything on the menu is uh, incredible. Uh, the bar staff's great. Um, we're, we're really grateful to, to have them in town. Yeah. So did they put the walleye on the menu to pay homage to your uh, Midwest heritage? Yeah, I like to think so. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the 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 actual case, but uh, in my head, uh, that that's definitely uh, what I like to believe. Yeah, with the progies on the side, right? Exactly, a little sauerkraut. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So you're telling me you're kind of in that sweet groove where the great thing about you is you know you're guiding so many repeat uh, clients. It's like kind of old friends week for the next few weeks. You want to let folks. Uh, you know, know where you hang your hat, uh, shop hours, how to book you and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I probably guide for the ugly bug and crazy rainbow. Uh, we're located, uh, downtown Casper on center street. You can reach us at area code 307-234-6905. Or, uh, if you want to reach out to me directly, uh, you can find me on Instagram. My handle is at Dustin James White. Yeah, well, there you go. And also, folks, if you go to the show notes on the website, all of his links there and his bio. So check it out. And, uh, you know, I want to wish everybody an absolutely uh, safe and happy Fourth of July. And, you know, you owe it to yourself over the long weekend to get out there and catch a few. Tight lines, everybody. Tight lines, Dustin. Tight lines, Barbara. Thanks so much. 